a recording. It's like, hi, this is a recording. And then... You ain't say that you had beef with blue cheese? All right, welcome back to Beef with Blue Cheese, episode 20, right? 20. The, the big, big 2-0. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. Yes, the 20th episode. Uh, it's a big one for us. This is it's, the longest yeah. I've done anything creative in a very long time. Yeah. This is the longest I've stuck with anything creative in a long time. Yeah, I mean, it's pr- where do we start? February? So you're talking... So it took us seven months to do 20 episodes that's i mean yeah <laughs> that's either really it's either like better than i expected or just Listen, absolutely terrible no it's yeah. it's right on it's right exactly where i expect us to be yeah yeah um the fact that we made the first one impressed me and mm-hmm. now that you know we're talking like it's like a one-year anniversary like yeah. it's it, you know like it's a big feat and people do these every mm-hmm. there's somebody re- recording a podcast every second of every day in this world but, oh yeah i'm like, sure multiple. 20 Oh my God! Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, um, if, it, if it was just like running into a room where we both live near each other and popping something on yeah. and chatting for an hour, that's something different mm-hmm. than trying to figure all yeah. this nonsense out. Exactly. Yeah. And there's a lot going on behind the scenes too, with you know, yeah. children and yeah, <laughs> dating. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, all right. This is God loves ugly atmosphere. God loves ugly. Yeah. Uh, this is a big one, yeah. Right, I feel like very big one for me. For me, definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely. I don't know where this ranks yeah. on your, but I mean, I wouldn't say I stop short of saying this is my favorite album of all time, but um, it's certainly like really damn close for me at yeah. least. Yeah, it's up there for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's funny because listening back to it and for this. I would love to know how I would think about this album. What would I think about this album if I heard it for the first time now? Mm -hmm. Because it is a little bit different. It's not, I'm like listening back and I'm like, it's not as like, um, I don't know, like, I guess instrumentally, it's a little bit more, uh, kind of abstract than I thought it was. I think I was just so into atmosphere at the time. No matter what he put out at it this was good, point, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna love it. Yeah, I mean, I was. And thinking, I still love it. I, yeah, I was thinking to myself, kind of like what you're saying, because uh, the first thought that popped into my mind after I finished the entire album, I'm like, man, Ant is like either trying to show off, like he's so yeah. diverse with what he is capable yeah. of doing, and he's trying, he like put like 18 different beats or every 18 different styles on right. one album, or yeah. He, they're just really trying to get abstract is kind of what you're saying. Yeah. It's funny because, like, like you know, production-wise, Lucy Ford was very different than this. Very, yeah. And Seven's Travel, which came next, was very different than, mm-hmm. well, like, all of them. So there's really no... I, I shouldn't say that because, like, all together, atmosphere has a sound because it's all kind of very different. Like, to me, production-wise, it's all kind of very different from everyone else. Or just maybe the sound of mm-hmm. Slug kind of pulls it all together. So maybe that's what it is. But this is almost closer to what they're doing now, production-wise, because, like, I don't even love what they're doing production-wise now. Yeah. It's, like, a, it is a little more, like, abstract or less, like, um, I don't know, just kind of simple. It's a little more complicated. Like, it mm-hmm. seems like it's doing more now. Yeah. So which was what made me think of that? Like it, it almost sounds like an album that would come out now from them, from um, Ant, yes, but definitely not from Slug. No, yeah, not from Slug. He was, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. yeah. And you're right about that. Um, he was writing diff- He was definitely mm-hmm. writing differently then, and you know, yeah. And I think uh, Seven's Travels after that album came out is when he started to change lyrically. I know that yeah, that girl died at one of his shows that was only like sixteen. Yeah, and I think that like really affected him and influenced. That was like, on the Seven's Travel. That song about that was on Seven's Travels. I thought it was on the one because I thought she died at a Seven Travels concert. So I think it was on after that. I think it was on. Um, was it on? You can't imagine how much fun we're having. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. It was. Yeah. yeah. Ironically Which is, enough, that is yeah. what I said. Ironically enough, that's the ironically title of that enough, album. Yeah. yeah. Which I I love that album. So yeah, much. me too. That, yeah, that, I listen back to you again. Can't imagine after how that. much fun we're having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's I, it's hard to say top. You know, you there's say so like many good top songs. Three albums from one artist is like kind of is almost. But he's you know they have a pretty deep 
collection. So yeah, but I, that might be my number three, and the top three are kind of interchangeable to mm-hmm. me. Like they can kind of loose you forward, Gallo's ugly, and you can't imagine how much fun we're having. Or kind yeah. of blend all around. I mean, yeah. and then you start thinking about the ones you leave out, and you feel bad. Yeah, like, and then I listen to Seven's <laughs> Travels. I'm like, man, that's pretty and, good. And then yeah, like right, you listen exactly. to Southsiders again, and you're like, man, that's got a lot of really good songs yeah. on it too. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I, I always hope that people like their new music. Mm-hmm. Like, I always, there's less of an album. Full. I always like some songs on the album. Mm-hmm. Like, I, some of them I love. Some of them, some of yeah. my most favorite songs of theirs are from the newer albums. It's just there's a lot, there's a lot more that I have to yeah. get through to those songs. Even, like, on their new album that isn't fully out yet, mm-hmm. one of the songs on there is, is I, I'm obsessed yeah. with, like, yeah, there's um, a there's a few and, that I really enjoyed. I was I was kind of nervous listening to the whole thing because I think most yeah, of it's out by now. I think there's only like two or three songs that aren't released, and yeah, I'm nervous. And one with I'm Aesop like, Rock and yeah. MF Doom on it, which yeah. is yeah, should be. I'm I'm very I can't wait. That actually might come out this Friday because mm-hmm. they've been doing it like every few Fridays. Uh, yeah, he said it, it's like four months that it's going to take him. I think because okay, that's so it might how, be Octo- uh, it might be the week after. Yeah, because yeah. they wanted to release it how vinyl used to be released, four sides of a vinyl. And that's right. how, uh, he, so that him and Ant were like, I mean, it's not like they have FU money, but they have FU cred where they could do whatever right. they want. They, I mean, his catalog speaks for itself to the point where there's a lot of people that want to work with him. I mean, he's on tour with Cypress Hill. So, yeah, I mean, he's at the point in his career where he's like, I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want to do. And it doesn't yeah. really matter. Like with yeah. with everything, everybody streaming things exactly. mostly, like yeah. it doesn't Makes really sense. matter how you release things. No. Like I, I've talked about, you know, you can artists can just like release a song, uh, you know, make a song, release it, make a song, release it. Yeah. Like, there's no reason to even wait for an album anymore. No, I, I appreciate it. it's nice to have the whole album to sit down and listen to, but and I, if an artist wants to do that, they should do it. But there's not really a call for that anymore. It's like, oh, there's a new, yeah, you know, whatever. But I just like the way they're all they're all doing it now. Between Aesop releasing a couple songs on Spirit World. It just it kind of yeah. just gets me fired up, like for when it, the whole thing yeah. is actually out. That was all the way it did. You know, they'd release a single before the album, yeah. so you get people. Yeah, have you? I don't know if you've watched his stories, and of course, mm-hmm. you know, we talk about Aesop Rock more. <laughs> but <laughs> on his Instagram stories, he's uh, definitely has new music coming out. Yeah. Like he's he had you know, like videos of like him rapping in the back on a, what sounded like an Aesop Rock beat, and yeah. Um, so yeah, this album, uh, June eleventh, two thousand two. Yeah, um, this was when he was just in the middle of just cranking out albums. Yeah, and, right after. And then it's yeah, not like it's like, like seven songs that. either. I mean, eighteen songs, and they're all besides yeah. one, besides "God Loves Ugly" reprise. They're all songs. Yeah, and then there's extra yeah. songs on the bonus copy, like two right. most fear and three most fear. Yeah, which yeah. I remember came out. That came out mm-hmm. first because I remember I, I yeah I we listened how, to all three. I don't know where that came out. If yeah. it was like a a single and then. So one was fear because I remember ha- having one was fear, two was fear, yeah. three was fear on one on thing. one disc. Yeah, I don't remember what that yeah. was, but it was a disc. It wasn't a cassette. And yeah, I mean, was it a record? Might have been. A re- yeah, maybe. But uh, I remember yeah. listening to it in the car. So ha- I mean, maybe we burned it. I don't know. It's very uh, that right. was th- we had Some, heavy yeah. burning days. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely remember. Oh yeah, maybe we just found it. Like I don't it's know. Possible. If it, like I don't know, but uh, I loved. I was mad that Two Most Fear and Three Most Fear weren't on the album. Yeah. I saw the listing because mm-hmm. I love those songs. I even think that I maybe I, th- I don't know which one. Three Most Fear, I think. Three yeah, it's the one with the muted trumpet. The, yeah, I know exactly yeah, which I one. Yeah, I think that's my favorite yeah, of the three. It's phenomenal. Not that it matters that much. I mean, no. it, you, it, you listen. It's not on the album, so at least I still I still have it. I can still listen to it. But yeah. but you don't listen to it as much because if you put on this album, like I can't. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't know the last time I listened to those songs mm-hmm. because they're not on this album. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know what it was? I think it was a release at one of the shows. I think one of the shows, he had a music video and these three songs on it or something like that. Then yeah, he have like a God Loves Ugly music video. And then he had these tracks. I remember, I think that's what it was. It was at a show and you could buy like the three disc or the three song disc at the show. Yeah, I don't remember. I, 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 I really, I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> Um, I'd love to dig up like my old CDs and stuff to yeah. see if I have a It's CD kicking around in there like somewhere. Because I know uh, uh, we were at the, I think it was the album release, or, or mm-hmm. the, it was the tour for this. We yeah. went to this this tour. It wasn't the album release before, but it was the it was a tour for this. 
And uh, I think it was at the Knitting Factory. Yeah, it was either and that. We it stayed the we were in the balcony because it was the second time we saw him, and mm -hmm. they, I think ASAP Rock opened up for them on this. Yeah, yeah, and um, because I, I have some, I have some live footage from this. Uh, no, that can't be. I my it's so memory is so. Well, it's two thousand. It's two thousand two. <laughs> so this was after nine eleven. Yeah, yeah but in my know. mind, like, because in my mind, we saw him at at um. When if I just think about it without like actually thinking about the details, we saw him in Knitting Factory first. Yeah. When Lu after Lucy Ford came out, mm -hmm. and then we saw him at the Bowery Ballroom mm -hmm. opening up for Aesop Rock, mm -hmm. and then we saw them for Labor Day's release, and then we saw them back at Knitting Factory for this album. But that's not true because we saw them at the Warsaw in between. The, that's in what the it was. Warsaw, the Warsaw. I remember specifically at the Warsaw. Yeah, 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 that's the one. He did an acapella version of Shrapnel. Before before I had heard anything, yep. you know, like he, that was his first time I ever heard these lyrics. And I remember because I there's some of my favorite lyrics is my posse full of women, mm -hmm. computer nose and thugs, much amount of me, I'm none of the above. Because I had, had I read shirt. that somewhere. It was on a shirt. I remember him. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and uh, I remember thinking like I can't wait to hear that out. And that that so that came out. So it must have this must have been the fourth time we saw them <laughs> within just a few years. And then we and, saw. Uh, them. We saw him at that that fairly big spot that was just a stage. It was almost like a it was almost like a gymnasium. I forget what place that was, but it was almost like a gymnasium where you could. Uh, it was him and Mr. Dibbs, and Mr. Dibbs was jumping into the crowd. But it was just a big, like flat venue with a high up stage. I know. Uh, I, I don't, don't remember know. which one we that saw him was. So we saw him in SOBs. SOBs, yeah. Um. Warsaw, where else would it have been? Irving Plaza. I, I know that's, I, I don't know, because uh, you moved at a certain point, but I've saw him at Irving Plaza. I went okay. to Connecticut and saw him at Toad's Place. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, on Long Island at the uh, Crazy Donkey, which <laughs> that wasn't a gymnasium. That was like an actual yeah. place. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Maybe anyway. it was the Warsaw. Maybe it was there. The Warsaw, that the, if if any of those places, the Warsaw yeah. to me, if I th think back, it se it did seem just like more like an open space, like yeah. it was the least, like the least concert venue looking place of mm -hmm. all of them. Um, I saw him, I think, mu mu uh, Music Hall of Williamsburg. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. This is no. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> I haven't seen anywhere big like I, well, the Terminal Five. I saw them, which was a which is a big place. After that, I you know it was just. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the now he's the, now he's playing the, Red Rocks. I mean, yeah, but with Cypress seat. Hill, I don't True. know. If, I, well, I don't know. I think he might have headlined Red Rocks a couple of times. I thought he did. Yeah, yeah. I think they might. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think they might have. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so this album wasn't that well received critically. No, um, huh? I mean, like good, but not. I'm looking at it now. I mean, okay. I guess mm -hmm. I, I'm expecting, you know, five yeah, songs. Exactly. Like old music gave it four out of five. Um, the Metacritic is uh, 76 out of 100. So, uh, you know, what is that, a C grade? Yeah. Um, I guess I looked at Pitchfork, Pitchfork, but, you know, fuck Pitchfork. You know, they're in their own ass. 5.7 out of 10. And it then a, I mean, I couldn't care less what Rolling Stone has to say about anything. No, I, I don't. Yeah. Uh, Village Voice gave it an A minus, so I mean, yeah, it was it was okay, um, but I guess I just, in my mind, this was like a turning point in you know in music. So yeah, I, I expect I expect more uh, for me, but I, I understand that was in my world, and not necessarily everyone else's world. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I take these scores from people who don't like don't listen to the music. Like they don't listen to what he has to say. You can't listen to half yeah. the tracks on this album and be like, "Oh no, this is a mediocre album." Nobody else was rapping like this at the time. Yeah. And on top of like with such meaning. Like maybe there were yeah. some people that just weren't like, I mean, maybe Black Thought and maybe KRS, yeah. but it just wasn't this is different. This is different. Was different too. This yeah. was like, yeah, uh, this yeah. I mean, we've said it a 100 times, but yeah. it, he seemed more 
I don't know, vulnerable mm-hmm. or like just kind of, I don't know, we're a bunch of white guys. So maybe like, you know, white guy talk about like women was more yeah. relatable to us than so certainly it was more relatable. This was like the most relatable rap music to me mm-hmm. ever. Like even like Eminem before that, yeah. like I liked it and, but he wasn't rapping as about stuff I, I could relate yeah. to. But, you know, I sleep next to women that I don't deserve. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I can relate to, I relate yeah. to that. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. Um, yeah. What about the... Uh, yeah, we'll get to it. All right. Yeah. Um, it was distributed via Fat Beats, yeah, which that, I thought was interesting. That I, I, rem- I remember there was, was an album or two that was Fat Beats. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Modern Man's Hustle, first single, yeah. reached 18 on the Billboard Hot Raps track, which, you know, they have to be pretty happy about that. Mm-hmm. It was, you know, on your own label, and um, it's nice. Anytime you get a um, an artist, <clears throat> be it Aesop Rock or Gangstar or anybody who has one producer, yep, for the whole thing, to not have to talk about like, oh, who produced this song? Just knowing like this is this is a collaborative effort, or somebody who can do everything. Is, have we talked about anybody else other than Aesop Rock who is a, was a rapper producer? Like, I don't think... Who was a producer been, before they were a rapper? No, like, just like, who, who we, like, we discussed an album mm-hmm. of somebody who rapped it and, and did the whole, the whole thing. Album, like, Aesop Rock. Yeah. No. I don't, no, no. There's right? probably not too many I mean, people Mob that Deep, actually do it. Yeah. Mob Deep, I guess, yeah, like, I guess. Havoc yeah. produced but that's, a lot of if it. it was t- if it was um, one person... It's different than what they did. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just the idea of going into a studio by yourself and, yeah. and leaving with yeah, cause Havoc, a product. Yeah, Havoc relied heavily on Prodigy. I mean, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't be the same thing. Whereas. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Do we want to stop playing this? Yep. Monster. <laughs> yep. I put it off to the side here. Another one of those uh, ones where start. yeah, where you just hit it and it's yeah, yep. yeah, you're all stoked when it starts. Yep. I just lost all the audio. Oh, there it is. Now it's back. Stars in the sky, believe we're one of the brightest. My life is as bright as your favorite rap record. And I'm possessed with that insight that enables me to laugh better. From the last letter back to the A, I'm around my way. Out of the wrapping paper without the fucking holiday. Okay, I mean, I can, you know, that's definitely one of those ones you could just keep going. A lot of, uh, uh, getting back to some of your favorite things, a lot of just phenomenal boasts on this album. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. A lot of a lot one of, of my favorite ones. boasts of all time. Yep. My second favorite boast of all time yeah. is on this album. Yep. Like, my favorite boast of all time is that KRS one, which I think we've mm-hmm. said. I'm not. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I lied on the one, yeah. two, three, four, and five. Uh, yeah, but the the drums kick on this. Mm-hmm. I, I I love it. Um, I kind of want to go just a little bit off. Um track so yeah I, I love that i love that int- intro mm-hmm. the album cover he really does look ugly yeah. like i give him a lot of credit like i i'm too vain to like post a picture of, like to make an album cover of myself yeah. to look like not not my best and he's just like fuck it yeah no but i think knowing, he did, knowing this album and what a majority of this album is about he's probably just not fully there taking this picture i'd assume yeah, yeah. maybe and, yeah, and i love the possible. and i love the god lows crossed out loves ugly that's yeah. just uh-huh. so creative. Yeah, it's, in my it's mind. Le- really leaning into it. Yeah. I have that. I have a, the magnet on my uh, fridge. With, okay. Um, it says God loves ugly. And I had somebody over and they're like, oh, are you really religious? I said, it's it's a thing. Yeah. It's a whole different thing. It's not, and then he it changed it to do with... for the vinyl. And I don't like the vinyl as much. The re-release. What are the vinyl? Vi- right there. That's right. Yeah. But that was, was that the whole album? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I was looking for um, Tumosphere. I wanted to because I wanted that's to see. That's on the deluxe edition. Uh, it's on. Okay, so mm-hmm. if at the bottom, it's yeah. I guess it's on that one. All yeah, right. it's track nineteen. Let's see. All 
Oh, yeah. I'm not on the deluxe set. It doesn't matter. Um, maybe we'll get to the end. We'll play it at the end. Um, uh -huh. There he is. Okay. Yeah, it's on there. There it is, yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So this one, I remember uh, um, the bass and the movement. Mm -hmm. I remember being really excited about it because it sounded like it sounded like it was going to be good to me. And I, I know you like it mm -hmm. a lot. And uh, I was disappointed first time listening to this song because mm -hmm. I wanted it to be more than it was. And it, it was like it was almost too much bass driven. Yeah. <laughs> like it was, yeah. Like I guess there weren't enough drums in it for me. But um, I've grown to like it. Every song on this album that I didn't love at the beginning I, I've grown to like as I listen to it but um, where do I want to play this at 138 at least then nobody you know who you've been it won't hurt so much when they don't like your shit silly buddy in a puddle of beer quit stepping in my come and get your gum out your ear i heard your new song son yo this show you why don't you run along it's um yeah well, there's plenty of drums and i just feel like it's it's a little too start stoppy yeah. for me mm -hmm. like but um it's not like yeah, it's not I, like a head bobber that's why exactly yeah. yeah it's it's um but it's good yeah, yeah. uh you know I've grown yeah, to, I mean, grown certainly to not the best song on the album, but I mean, it's just, yeah. it just goes back to my point of like, Ant, like he's just trying to throw everything into one album. Like he's trying to show off that he can do yeah. like any style you want to do. They can do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, that was definitely, mm -hmm. yeah, that was a departure beat for sure. Definitely. It's always so funny to me. Like when somebody's producing something and they're in the, they're producing and I was just talking about this with my cousin uh, who is a musician and He's got a record label involved with him now. He was always like kind of self-released mm -hmm. everything. But it would take him years but to do a project. He would work on something for years and he would never knew he would tinkle with you know, tinker with it and never know when it was done and to finish it. And like he would release something, like and he would send me something, like, ah, oh, I'm working <laughs> on this. And then he would send yeah. me, I would hear it again in a year and it would sound completely different. So he would it would drive him nuts to know like when are you done with something? When do you want to add another element to the song? When do you want to do this with it? So he's like the record label just holds him accountable. It's like this is your release date, so whatever it is at this moment, that's yeah. the finished product. And anytime I hear something like that, like oh, you could have added something to this, or you could have added something to that, but it's like how do you know when you want to keep something simple, mm -hmm. or do you want to make something add a whole bunch of stuff to it? And I guess that's that's part of the art artistic process. Is yeah, I mean, as an artist, you have to figure to out say, when to just stop. Like stop listening to yeah. it. Like once it's over, it's kind of in the bank. Stop listening to it. Right. Yeah. I'm guilty of that. Like when I take photos and I edit them, like I I'll do like three, four edits of the same photo because I'm I can't commit to which one I like yeah. best. And I'll be like, I, I could never like, I like to have different options. And if people are like, oh, if you like it like this, but I have it a little bit warmer too, or I have it a little bit grungier, and yeah. it's like a little bit, you know, it's like just you you're the artist. You decide what it should look yeah. like, and that's what you know. But I can't do that. Um. All right, this is... Uh, yeah, this one's one of my favorites. Gimme. I'm going to start this one at 27 seconds. I hope I pick the... I was going to send you, like, the time mm -hmm. um, codes so that you could... Why isn't this letting me fast forward? There we go. I'm trying to get better at this. <laughs> I'm a slow typer, a so-so writer Been the shit ever since I was an infant in diapers And I'ma be dope all the way to the end From the cradle to the grave, the pampers to the depends Get enough love, got enough friends But on a regular basis, it's safe to say I've got the bend And I didn't mean to ignore that vibe you sent I guess my mind was probably on my rent I got my mind on my tummy and my tummy on my mind Some assembly required, let me run it down the line The factory is open, time card punched Until lunchtime, it's crunch time um yeah that's kind of like a creepy mm -hmm. kind of beat like a little you know yeah yeah and the um i just it's one of my favorite choruses um i just uh, uh, just have always loved the chorus yeah all i really for the deck and it's fire and say yo man how you doing about that baby? there'll be a crate full of albums they had in the land of in the land of snow and purple i play it cool. give me the light i've seen things that used to be dreams. give me the love the name slug give me a pound or a hug and i'm gonna play this game mm. but i just want to say yeah 
Give me the money and don't you dare stop there, yeah. right? Is that, what, yeah. is that what it starts? Yeah. Um, but just another great boast. That, that's, a, that's a multi-line boast, too. Which one when he but said? I, I've been right when you started. I'm the shit ever since I was an infant. Oh diapers. yeah, I'm the slow right. Yeah. So so, so type. Yeah. I've been the shit ever since I was an infant in diapers. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and I'm gonna be dope yeah. all the way for the and from the cradle to the grave, the pampers to the depends. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's right. It's funny because this doesn't strike me as a super boastful album, but when you when you break it down, yeah, yeah, I guess there is a lot of boasts in here, and there's a lot of boasts and a lot of self it's, yeah self deprecating you know, yeah self-deprecation all, mm-hmm. all on the same album it's like the uh, ups and downs the yeah yeah um this is fuck you lucy yeah which is uh i mean he talked about lucy before this right this mm-hmm. is this is not his first lucy no, reference this is right? mo- yeah lucy this is four is that the lucy four yeah so it's like what is with this guy who is this lucy bitch? yeah and we th- and we talked about this a little bit on lucy ford where i always i always thought it was a woman or like a combination of multiple women and then you were saying something about it being like lucifer like he referred to her as lucifer um, yeah and that's kind of where that name came from and then if you like if you read the lyrics to this song it's 100 percent about drug addiction yeah 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 100 percent. and like hmm. you and okay. then if you think about it from that perspective and then you listen to it again you're like okay and that's i mean right, that, i think that's well, a, listen to it. yeah i think that's a big part of this album and that this song for me is one of his best written songs ever i mean and it think like just the whole the whole thing about about this song is makes it one like one of my top three favorites from him i mean it's just so well written and the beat's yeah. fantastic and it's five i mean it's over five minutes mm-hmm. and then it right at the end like the last little bit of it he like plays abusing of the rib backwards yes. and uh that's i just kind of gets that just kind of ties it all together for me yeah um is that that is that is it start that way what is the um yeah just start with I think the music it does the it, backwards? The both, I think at the beginning and at the end. At both ends, yeah. right. Yeah. Well, I started it at uh, 37 seconds. Yeah. Just right at the beginning. Yeah. She can't live her life without me as a friend. I can't figure out why I give a damn to what she wants. I don't understand the now before the then. Most of this garbage I write that these people seem to like is about you and how I let you infect my life. And if they got to know you, I doubt that they would see it. They wonder when I showed you how you could leave it. A friend in Chicago said that I should stay persistent. If I stay around, I'm bound to break resistance. Fuck you, Lucy, for defining my existence. Fuck you and your differences. Ever since I was a young lad with a part-time dad, it was hard to find happiness inside of what I... Yeah, I can see that for sure. About drugs, for, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, yeah. And then um, as it gets deeper the into the song, it, I think yeah, it be, more, he gets more. a little bit more. And it just it, it, yeah. It, okay. And then yeah, in the back it's got mm-hmm. them saying, "Would you?" Yeah. you I um, I remember discover. I actually remember the, where I was when I discovered that, or when I first brought it up to you that it, it was that backwards. I remember yeah. making a write on twenty five A and Smith down, being like, "Wait a minute, are they saying the lyrics?" Yeah. To this backward, like to yeah, and like and then yeah. And I think funny. we didn't realize that till after because, like, we got the headshots tapes. Like it originally came out in like what ninety seven or ninety eight, and then it was re released. Yeah. Um, in like 2005, like after this came out, and I think, I mean, yeah, yeah, and I think after this came out, when we had like the actual real tape. no, because I, I I had an illegal download of that. Did you? Okay, before it was released, yeah. Okay. So I, I think I don't know if I had that whole thing, but I remember I I, I spent up, I stayed up one night on Napster yeah. just downloading random stuff, mm-hmm. and that one was one of the first ones that I that abusing of the rib because I I used, I love that yeah that, that song like one of my crazy. first songs yeah. of them that I loved, and um. But yeah, it didn't doesn't jump out of you that they're singing that backwards. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is one of the more fun songs on the album. I mean, it you know yeah. it ends with two people dying in a car crash, but it mm-hmm. is it is it is pretty fun. 
she drives a Taurus, unwinding, hanging out at the bar. I wonder if she knows that I'm not really a star. She seems to be impressed with my lack of an ego and my self-aware style. I like the way that she smiles. She want to know how I find the words I use. I don't really know, but I can lie if you want me to. Angels sing to me in my sleep. I sold my damaged soul for the magic of speech. And now she's laughing. She likes the sarcasm. So naturally, I'm asking if she's got a captain. She says, a captain? Wait, you mean a man at home? The answer is no. I came to this bar below. Well, heavens to Betty. Enough about boyfriends already. Just trying to keep the conversation petty. Yeah, see, that's like that's funny because this is almost as to me as like a non-song. It's almost mm -hmm. like a, a skit, yeah. but it's a song because of the beat is kind of simple. And if it wasn't for the fun lyrics and like the kind of like the fun vibe of it, yeah. I probably wouldn't like. It, but I but I love it. Yeah. I love singing along to the song. I love it's very you know. I think this this song yeah. is the reason why. I love Slug. Like it's the reason. Like you listen to his lyrics, how smooth it is, and yeah. like, like the whole like he talks about his self self aware style, and uh, and then he yeah. just and then he's like, oh, angels sing to me in my slug. Like he like just that whole like yeah. sometimes bragging uh -huh. and like I'm this good that yeah, because it, like that's why I mean that's just the way, just it how seems smooth like he is. a lot of yeah. his um, personality comes through in the very song, much like his real life yeah. personality where he's like yeah. kind of he's kind of silly he's mm -hmm. kind of you know, but yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. It is it is a good example of uh why he is who he is and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um the title track. Yep. Uh come on. Come on, mouse. Oh my god. <laughs> uh one fifty eight on on the stage who is it my name's slug i've come to kill a couple minutes and what's up with the way that everybody gathers around each other so they can steal each other's sound if it's all about getting down with the get down how long i gotta wait for these fools to sit down appears more clear in its simplest form nobody sees tears when you're standing in the store um that right you cut that off at like the best nobody sees, te sees tears when you're standing in the storm yeah what a great line yeah yeah, when I was, you know, when I'm 22 and, uh, yeah, I feel like, yeah, man, that, that, that really means something. <laughs> yeah. Um, once upon a time in Minneapolis, yo, I damn near had to steal the show. I stepped on, yeah, that's another, like, um, it's, um, it's like starts as self-deprecating and yeah. then ends with boastful. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then it's, I, I like damn near had to steal the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, nobody knew I was, but, yeah. you know. To step on stage and, and it's it. almost like a com like a, it's like he's pretending to be a comedian like oh, i, I want to kill a couple minutes but yeah 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 uh i don't know why it just came to my mind but it, i guess when you said minnesota like this the the idea that like so much of the rap music i like this time was coming from minnesota i i was always loved telling mm -hmm. people that like minnesota i'm like yeah i'm like there's a lot of great music rap music you wouldn't minnesota. believe it yeah um you know between him mostly and uh brother Ali and idea and then shortly after that you know the doom tree whole doom tree people came out so um pos yeah pos yeah. from you know it was from doom tree and um he uh i'm like i literally so there's a lot of reasons why i started like liking the vikings um yeah. you know but Somebody asked me the other day, like, oh, why are you a Vikings fan? And I'm not, you know, I don't really care that much about any, mm -hmm. anything. But I was like, well, I grew up a Jets fan, and they were terrible. And I, got, and I didn't care that much about the Jets to begin with. I said, but when I was, like, in my late teens, uh, early 20s, there was a lot of rappers from Minnesota that I liked a lot. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to root for the team that they root for. <laughs> like, I, I, like I, want, I want them to be happy because yeah. I like them. They're my favorite artists. So <laughs> I'm just going to – I want them to be good. So then I just – and I just like the whole imagery of the Vikings. It was, like, a cool mm – -hmm. I like that it was a purple thing and it was – so I'm like, that's the big pretty, horn. Like as, yeah, I'm like it's as ridiculous. I'm like, you oh, you like the Giants because you were born in New York? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's pretend I was born in Minnesota. Now, okay, yeah. I like the Vikings now. Okay, we good? I like the Vikings because um, of their purple jerseys. That's it. Because they look pretty. But really, like, I love this music so much that I was like, I hope that the sports teams that mm -hmm. come from this area do well. Yeah, I didn't realize <laughs> how big of a sports fan he was. 
but not until social media. And then like he's like going to like Vikings playoff games and Twins yeah. playoff games, and like he's like yeah. living and dying with it. I'm like, I didn't picture yeah. him. Like usually you're one or the other. Like you're like yeah. a crazy artist who. Like yeah, he's really right. just into I'm always that. surprised when any comedian or any mm-hmm. artist, like there's like a lot of comedians that I like a lot yeah. and they like, they speak out about like whatever. And like, they're very like outspoken. Like uh, yeah. Gary Goldman is like somebody who's like, doesn't seem like he talks about how much he loves sports. I'm like, that's so weird. Yeah. Like, Eddie Pepitone is like, it's Eddie Pepitone. I don't know if you know his comedy, but he seems like the guy would make fun of somebody who likes mm-hmm. sports so much. And he's just obsessed with yeah. the Yankees. Like, well, you know. it's just like Bill Burr. It's the same thing. Like yeah. Bill Burr is fully, yeah, but, he, but I guess I knew always knew Bill Burr as a sport. Like yeah. he always talked about his sports in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Like he, so his opening to me was like how much he loved yeah, sports. But, but yeah, but he seemed. Like, I mean, to the point like that you're talking about. Like he would just call everyone a douche that acts the way he yeah. acts about sports. <laughs> yeah, he would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can't get rid of that. No. Is that, that's a part of a personality. They just, you yeah. just, yeah, that's in you. Um, but yeah, so you know, I went to the minute I went to the opening game at the new Vikings mm-hmm. Stadium. Yeah, I remember that. Um, you guys took a road trip, right? Yeah. Yeah, I took a road trip, and they were playing Atmosphere Sage mm-hmm. yeah. on the you know, second yep. video. Yeah, you were telling me, right, as it was going on. And I then remember, we, yeah. And then we popped up on the, uh, yep. on the, on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get a video um, of you on the screen, though, or no? Yeah, because I was recording okay. the song yeah, at the time. Yeah. And then as I'm recording the song, it was popped playing. popped up there, yeah. We, I popped up, and we were on the, we were on the screen, yeah. <laughs> Um, and you love that they, I love that they lean into that stuff too. Like, yeah, like, like they're doing that, like sort of home. Yeah, like the person that's in charge of that is kind of like doing their due diligence with that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, it's Prince and it's Atmosphere. Like, what? Yeah, like, right. There's and, probably not much know. else, but yeah, the fact they gave Atmosphere yeah, the time I think of day. I said like, there's a punk band I think from there that was big from there. Dillinger Four, okay, I think sure. was the, yeah. the name of them. Yeah. And then Bob Dylan I was actually born saw that, in Minnesota. Yeah, Bob Dylan. What's that? I I saw Dillinger Four. Yeah, one of my roommates in Philly. Like yeah, she was a Philly? big she was a big uh, Dillinger Four fan. Yeah, I think they're from Minnesota. Yeah, I couldn't. I don't know, but yeah. Um, yeah, and Bob Dylan. Yeah, what it was in that? What's Bob his name? Dylan was born there? Yeah, that. but obviously, you know, I feel like he's became a New York guy. Yep. Um, song about a friend. So a little bit, um, like I listen, like I hear that part. I'm like, all right, that's a little problematic. Like you're talking mm-hmm. about, like looking up a girl's skirt unknowingly, but like that he does the right thing. He's like, but yeah. if she knew, she wouldn't. You know, she'd be upset. So I'm gonna tap her on the shoulder and give her a clue. They're like, hey, listen, just say no. I can see up your dress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the, you know, just so it's the right and it's just like just so you know, I am looking up your dress. Yeah, I was looking up your dress. <laughs> so if you yeah. want to meet to stop, just you the heads move. up. Yeah. Uh, another unique beat. Mm-hmm. You know, like very. You know, I don't know piano and. Uh, I feel like the front part of this album is definitely very... It's very dark. Yeah. yeah it's very dark. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah. This song is... is, is Was that a left field? Yeah. I remember. I used to actually... This was the only song I used to skip on this on this album. Yeah, I just hate when he has just... When he has other Anybody people on the, on the album. Yeah, I can't... And yeah, the new album is riddled it. with it. I, just, I, can't, I mean, I get what he's trying to do. I understand yeah. what he's doing. But I can't stand it. Do it on a different album. But they got to be, be they yeah. got to be as good or better. Yeah. Like, do it on a different you know, album. If I'm listening to one of my favorite artists, yeah. you want to have Aesop Rock in the album? Yeah. Have them, like do a duo. Yeah. Do, a, do do a whole album with him. I don't care. Yeah. But if you got people that just aren't bringing the same thing to the table mm-hmm. as you are, I don't. I'm not. I self divine. Like yeah. I'm sorry. An idea doesn't not, make an appearance ever, which I don't get. Yeah. No. And no Slug idea. makes an appearance on uh, yeah. the an idea album, but yeah, not yeah. the other way around. Um. Yeah, so. Came here to slit your throat. You came here to sniff some coke. Kid, don't fall like all the rest. Cuts through soul and cuts through flesh. And when they started to holler, I thought about how the couple dollars in my pocket could have doubled as a collar. Taller than most, but never tower over. I don't know if I trust the rocket since on my shoulders. I- yeah, so that's the same kind of like very bass driven. Mm-hmm. Like the drums are kind of almost off beat a little bit. Like they kind of like all over the place. And I like it now. Like going back, I've, I've liked, like I, this is one of the only songs I've ever heard 
pumping out of another car's speakers on the road. Oh, I really? Remember, like I was driving the road. I'm like, I'm like, is this person blasting flesh? Like of all the <laughs> atmosphere songs, songs, this is the song you're yeah, blasting. I'm like, you know, the song after this is like one of the best yeah. songs he's ever made. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Just hit the next button. Like and you're it's good. right there, right on the. But, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's good. It's just to me, it's not. There's no flow to it. Like I like a rhythm. Mm-hmm. There's no. It's like a. It gets yeah. you. It's like. Just, you it's know. almost like the song's like just a line of demarcation though, because after the like after that song, the album changes. It does. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It gets a little bit cleaner, a little mm-hmm. bit, you know, a little bit smoother. Yeah. And uh yeah. You're right about that. Um Melissa saves the day. And uh. <laughs> I sleep next to women that I don't deserve. They like to hurt my pride while I work their nerves. Once upon a time, it was worth it when the urges get fed and the purpose finds a path to the surface. Is respect considered a breakfast food? I'm guilty of the type of attitude that wrecks your mood. The truth can be pain, and I hate to do it. Either face the music or get away from me, stupid. Super glue it down. Now it better not move. See, I'm not the best, but I'm in the top two, and I'm. That's it. That's, that's the, the one. one. That's the, my yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my one of my favorite boss lines ever. Yeah. I'm not the best, but I'm in the top two. And then see so that it opens and closes that that little part open and close with two of my favorite lyrics mm-hmm. from the from the album. What would have been pretty? What would have been pretty sweet if he uh, like referenced KRS One? He said like apparently I'm number six or something like like yeah. just something like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, that would, yeah, yeah that'd be good. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Somebody should do that. Yeah. Whatever. Like you know. Uh, Top five are taken up, you know, are already taken up by KRS One. Yeah, there's something in there somewhere. Yeah, um, but yeah, the opening line of that, "I sleep next to women that I, no, that I don't deserve,", deserve yeah. to, like to hurt my pride while I work their nerve, like that. That to me is is perfect, and and brings it on that yeah. one too. That's just that's all boom bap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Um. Love life. 128. Never expected a bowl of cherries. I'm just a Virgo trying to find my own version of the Virgin Mary. And when I let them carry me to a cemetery, I want to be buried with a pocket full of clarity. Now, how many times must you prove you're an angel? How many more demons do you have to strangle? How much longer must you remain in this dream before I finally figure out if you're insane or a genius? How many times must you prove you're an angel? How many more demons do you have to strangle? How much longer must you remain in this dream before I finally figure out if you're insane or a genius? Let no tears to fall from- uh, I just love that chorus so much that, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know, I just played it twice, but um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Uh, I feel like I find myself singing that. This whole album is, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like I know every word of this album. Yeah, I, I always I, say that. I, I know 90%. I really do, but yeah. I think I, I'm, yeah. Uh, One line that sticks for me from that song is when he like spells it out, L-O-V-E-L-I-F-E, here lies Sean, finally yeah. free. Yeah. yeah. It's just, like, I don't know how to take that. Uh, like, is he like just talking about like he, when he dies, he's finally going to be di- free yeah, dying, or yeah. like, is he turning a page somewhere where like he's finally right. free of whatever addiction or whatever, like between women and yeah. drugs or whatever it is. Well, you know, here lies Sean is yeah. obviously, you know, sure. you expect to see that on a tombstone mm-hmm. or something, but yeah. Um, yeah. I've seen a lot of people that have love life tattoos. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's a popular atmosphere tattoo. Uh, yeah, between that and God Loves Ugly itself, those two I think I've yeah. seen more than anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know what tattoo I've seen a lot? Has you ever seen the picture of him dressed as a clown? Yeah, the sad clown like the picture. Red, yeah. And, yeah. Where it's and like, people half, like half his face or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have that tattoo uh, I, I've seen. Unless it's, I keep seeing the same one over and over again, but yeah. I don't think so. Uh, what are we on? Breathing? Yep. Okay. And then... I can't believe I don't have an atmosphere tattoo at this point. And I've actually, I'm trying to schedule a uh, appointment for a tattoo. I've decided I'm going to get a POS tattoo. Okay. <laughs> wow, look at that. Well, because I, it's one of my favorite album covers. I like this. I just, I'm actually carrying this with me so that sure. I can bring it in. I want to get that tattoo. Um, Man, a POS tattoo. I can't get a POS tattoo an before an atmosphere tattoo. That's, that's sacrilege. That's ridiculous. No. So, yeah. It can't happen. 
I just, I feel like there's no, I don't love any of the art associated with any of the albums. Like the same, like Aesop Rock, Impossible Kid, I want to get, but I don't know. Doesn't there's got to be a quote somewhere. Like, I, the, that's the thing. I don't want any more words. I've got a lot of words. word tattoos. Yeah, I don't true. want any more words. Sense, like, I, yeah. yeah, I want, I want like, a, I want a good detailed picture that's like people can say, like, oh, that's a nice, that's an impressive piece of art, mm -hmm. and a tattoo. I, like, I don't, I, can, I don't want to be a billboard, but just you know, lyrics. Will I make. mean, the woman with the tattooed hands uh, is a good one, like the one on the Lucy Ford cover. Yeah, like the one that she, um, isn't she like half a skull or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be good. I'll find something. Or you could just put his ugly face on your back or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it's funny because I, I remember when I first saw that picture of him as a, as a clown, I'm like, yeah. oh, it'd be a good tattoo. Like if I was going to get a, like a, port, like mm -hmm. a portrait, but I can't. I'm, I'm too afraid that somebody's going to screw up a portrait. Like yeah. I can't even, I can't even entertain that. Um, what tank top? How many wishes get spent on what you ain't got? The youth want truth, well thank God. We trying to keep it moving while you're sitting in the same spot. Been in this cage for a long time. Covering this page with the wrong rhymes. Got a strong mind, I got a weak will. I've got bad nerves and I can't keep still. But I stay humble, so when the meek take the planet, I can get a little... Nice. Peace with my name on it. The only problem is by then I probably won't want it. I'm in the backyard praying and hoping for the comet. Are you? I, I I wanted to end that sooner, but I was. <laughs> it's actually not one of my favorite songs. In the actually, this one kind of should it belongs at the top at the top of the album. It's kind mm -hmm. of even even vampires a little bit too. A little but, bit, yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, the chorus is fun on this one though. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let's get right into vampires then. 123. At 123, it sounds like this. <laughs> oh, shit, I hit Ford, the Ford button. I'm the worst at this. Cities of, cities of vampires, she eats her kids. Let's hide the bodies under the bridge. She lurks in the alleys with her own reality. Allegiance, honor, keep it all in the family. Consumes the young, blind, deaf, and the dumb. Drains the vein and puts them under the thumb. She's on the television. Celebrate status quo. Energy push, mute on the remote control. Break the beat, shatter the measures of pieces. All I've left is the breath and the will to prove the thesis. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's another chorus, uh, that I like a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, I got nothing on that one. <laughs> no? Yeah, not on that Not one. a fan of that one? Or? No, it's a good one. I just, it's not like a, I don't think it's a very it's quotable one. one. Yeah. 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 I feel like, um... I love that line. If we got yeah. along, we got a bit of be dope. Yeah, that's literally every yeah. relationship. Yeah, if we got along, better, we'd be dope. <laughs> yeah. You. Uh, so there was a. I don't think I ever. I I've missed that lyric in the song every time. Right before that, like right right in the middle of the thing, he talks about. Uh, he said something about like you still have my rib. I don't know what that means, but I don't know if that's a reference back as well. Um, I don't know. Just I, there's, I just noticed like it right the, now. Uh, Adam and Eve tale, or like, you know, uh, he, you know, the whole idea of like woman was made out of mm -hmm. a man's rib. Yeah. So maybe he's saying like he's where it started. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I ever really paid attention to that to know. I don't think I always missed it. Um, I'm going to skip the God Loves Like the Reprise because mm -hmm. there's really nothing no. there. Um, and then the last four are. This is, uh, yeah, maybe my favorite four chunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my favorite chunk of any album. It's like it's one after another. This is this is the best. If I, if I was like 
when this album first came out and have a lot of time i would just jump to modern man's hustle yeah. and then go from there mm -hmm. um it's the best this is really you know what they call it uh backloaded this, it is this yeah album. this is backloaded <laughs> yeah it's got a heavy ass to it uh, <laughs> yeah Stand the modern man must hustle. I will show you all you need to know. You must hold on to anyone that wants you, and I will love you. You simple and the struggle, but girl, you gotta understand the modern man must hustle. Who cares what Jane says? She always spits the same spit. I'd rather kill the radio and listen to the rain hit. Little sister needs seclusion. Somehow she'll discover it through the pop music. Got used to the feeling of falling, but you'll never see her following, bouncing back and forth between the healing and the hollering, riding the outer ring of your own private Saturn. Thoughts scattered all across the gray matter. You know, this song doesn't really fit on this album, though. When you when you think about it, it's so pleasant mm -hmm. and like airy. Um, it doesn't match a lot of the rest of the album because even the next two songs are more aggressive than this uh yeah i mean i wonder if this would fit better on like the family sign or something like that like that yeah that album. it's yeah it's a little bit more I, you know yeah. i didn't pay attention to it nice. too much because it's such a good song i didn't care like no, it's i don't just, care yeah. i still don't care i mean it's great i'll, I'll listen to it but it doesn't yeah. you know i'm not looking but for yeah you're you know, right the album oh, does have like a certain tone like there's a certain yeah, tone this to does it not this fit doesn't that. fit yeah. the tone mm -mm. um yeah, it's a little bit too like straightforward. The beats a little too straightforward for it, and yeah, and it is. It's yeah, too pleasant. But, and then you play one of a yeah. kind, and then it goes right back, <laughs> uh -huh. right fresh out of the gate. Yeah, but I mean, still like a little bit of a more um, straightforward beat mm -hmm. on on these or oh, yeah, one of a kind. Anyway. The way she listened to what the MC said, she might as well plug the RCA chords into her head, taking that into consideration at the center of creation. Cat still criticize my frustration. Raps well off he goes, coming cop some flows, cross your toes and hopes that I don't climb you like an obstacle. Mission impossible, fishing in the kitchen sink, y'all are all for anything. So what you think this kid will bring? Poker face, let me hold my place. The namesake is slug, but you, you can call me stroke. I forgot that I'm not supposed to just keep playing that whole song. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that beat is killer to me. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's killer. It slaps. Yeah. As it they does say. slap. That <laughs> some bitch slaps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and that little, that lot, maybe like that 20 seconds right before you cut it off. I mean, he, that's like, he just kind of defines himself with just how smooth and how fantastic of a rapper that he really is yeah just with that 20 like it's rap. so like, like right it's like deep stuff but he could also just rap yeah yeah like he can straight up rap and like we were talking about it in the sage francis episode about how uh like he gets creative with how he says some things and he says stuff backwards yeah. like like he's like the cross your toes like it fits perfectly with what he tries yeah. like it rhymes but be good but it also fits perfectly with like with like his whole yeah, personality and the cadence and the whole cadence of it yeah mm-hmm he does that a lot in, in hair where he changes up how he says something or yeah. he'll say he'll say he'll kind of say something rather than rap it or he'll like he'll say something as her and like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I, yeah, I love it, that. Um blame game. Uh, go towards the end of this. Right, middle. Be walking into the spot like they own it. Own it. Wearing a face that they should say for their opponents. With the shoelaces tied, the two wasted to drive. Either way, I've arrived to bless this place with my vibe. Yeah, right. My vibe ain't even cool. I sit in the corner and drink until I slur and drool. The t shirt says shoot pool, not people kill time, not life. Grab the mic and let the beat go. Beat go. Beat go. Beat go. That's good for me. It's hard to hide a magic card when you wear a short sleeve. Force me what I've got when they're not hungry. I mean, it's that's, just, that, that's the best. It really is, is the best. T-shirt <laughs> says shoot oh, pool, not, not people. Pick. Kill time, not life. Grab the mic and let the beat go. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's, and then the, it's hard to hide a magic card when you wear a short sleeve. Force feed. Yeah, and then force, force feed yeah. what they got when they're not hungry. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's so good. <laughs> so it good. is so good like it, it gets me angry that someone's this talented like just like he probably yeah. I, I mean 
honestly, if you like think about like if you probably like watched him do it, it probably took him a long time to do this. But it does it like yeah, you the way I hope the so. way that he wraps it. Like if it didn't take him a long time, then I'm like, why am I even yeah. here? Why am I like yeah, breathing right. someone else's air that has far uh-huh. more talent and pretty much everything that I do? It's yeah. um and the, I feel like the style matches the the his style matches the beat so much. Mm-hmm. Funny, I remember playing this song years ago for someone. I'm like, you like this? Like, like, no, nah, I don't really like it. Like, I don't really like reggae. And I'm like, reggae, <laughs> <laughs> reggae. But then when I listen to it, I'm like, it does yeah. kind of have a. It kind of has, has a like reggae the guitar, like, but it's a piano. Yeah, yeah, right. But that's it. Like other yeah. than that, like, like somebody. But you hear them rapping yeah. though, right? Like he's definitely rapping over this. Like, that, that, beats, that, right? that beat punches you in the face, and you're telling me that's reggae. Yeah. I mean, come on. Like he's yeah. sitting there, like smashing the keys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So this was. I mean, this is one of my favorite atmosphere songs of all time. That one was too, but yeah. um like I said, I remember hearing the acapella to this and be like, I cannot wait to own this song. Now what was it? Was there worried. was there a secret worried. track on this? Was there a secret track after on Shrapnel or no? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think Shrapnel felt like a secret track. Because it was so <laughs> like long. A secret track. Maybe, yeah. Um yeah, I would get panicked when I would hear somebody do something live at a concert and be like, I hope this isn't like a one off yeah. thing that they're not like I hope that they record this. Yeah, this is on something, right? Yeah. I mean, like B. Dolan did that a couple of times. Like he would do it because he his raps would always be written like poetry and he would always stop and just do a cappella like doing a poem. But I was like, Okay, that's cool, but can you make that a song? Because like, I don't want to like leave here and like I'm never gonna hear that song. Like he did a a poem about you know, old dirty bastard, and then eventually became a song. And I was okay. like, "Yeah." So I remember the feeling. I remember feeling the same way about this. So much love, I take the laughter, but I'd rather have the women. Who my kid? I'll be content with whatever I'm given. Work for food, rent, sex, money, your water. I don't know what else that you have to offer. Your firstborn daughter, no need, already got her. She came to the set hungry and left hot and bothered. My posse's full of women, computer nerds and thugs. Much to my dismay, I'm none of the above. Someday I'ma be the Mac of the minute. And it was so damn good, I'ma have to forget it. Listen to the mimic, it's almost on. Drink ticket hit me with a tall potion. I mean, it's just. You know what that, you know that lyric. So that lyric was around before the song. So. It's a picture of him holding the sign. Yes. It's a picture right. of it's him. In the blue, holding, it's like a blue, yes. it's like a blue shaded yes. picture. That was way old. That was in the nine that was older than this, I think. Like he yeah. wrote that a while ago and didn't have it in his song. And then right. it was on a it t-shirt. Was written, I can I can, I can yeah. see the picture in my head because yeah. yeah. And it, um he was wearing a hat, I think, maybe. Yes. And, yeah, like it yeah. was uh, and he's just sitting yeah. there like with just a written next to him. I remember like he was thinking either like wearing I remember, a shirt that had the lyrics or he was holding a sign no, it was on written, a shirt. It was written next to it. Yeah. Or it was like, yeah, it was yeah, right. Yeah. Maybe he was holding a sign of yeah. it. Yeah. I remember thinking like, oh, it's so cool. Like why like what song is that from? And yeah, it wasn't until years later. I think that's song. why when I heard this live, I was like that holy shit, yeah, that's that one exactly. I used to I used to read. Yeah. And I'm like that's where like mm-hmm. yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> it's so so dumb it how we like geek out on like this silly thing of um you know what it was i think that it wasn't a secret track but at the end of this it kind of gets like 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 weird yeah i think it was like that's right yeah something just something weird at the Mm -hmm. end maybe so yeah that that's one of the best goddamn songs of all time in my opinion and it's funny because the beat is not nothing like an atmosphere beat it's really it's dark yeah. it's like i think it's, it's done on purpose that's why he did it acapella is because like they just needed to put a beat behind it and it's just very subtle yeah. and right. it just goes perfectly with what he was like with what he wants to do yeah it almost is like instead of rapping over a beat mm-hmm. it's like they put a beat under the yeah under the lyrics to it yeah uh, <laughs> i don't know if that was the smartest thing i've ever said or the dumbest thing i've ever said <laughs> <laughs> they just like put a beat behind the lyrics or <laughs> wow! Well, well, yeah, I see Crazy, how he's flipped that up like that. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Good take. <laughs> Fucking dumb, dumb. Okay, so I definitely think I like one atmosphere better than that. Yeah, so if I'm ranking them so far. It's one atmosphere, two atmosphere, but I think I three atmosphere is the three best atmosphere. because it's just like the the muted trumpet. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. How is this not on oh, the original? I, this is, yeah, this is a swing and a miss that this wasn't on the album. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I mean, that, I think Womosphere might fit the album better because mm-hmm. of the sounds of it, but you know, it's not like they, they didn't hold true to that for the entire album. I just so. love how he yeah. sings the chorus to match the trumpet. Yeah. The cor- yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like good. I like, like, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I like yeah. when they do that. He did that on another song on this album too. Like I feel like Flesh, the beginning of Flesh, like they 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 rap mm-hmm. like to like the on same beat. tempo yeah, as yeah. the beat. Yeah. For for the chorus anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's it. That was it. I don't know if we did the album justice, but that was that's I yeah. you know, I I love it and um, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's all. Anything to add? No to that. No, I mean, just a phenomenal album. I re- I remember vividly going to see the concert when it like when it came out. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, like to your point, we heard half the songs. We definitely heard some of this before we the album came out. Yeah. So I don't know. It must have been like on a like because this is like when he was like Lucy Ford came out like what eight months before, not even six months before this, yeah. seven months before this, and yeah. um, we must have heard it just like on the Lucy Ford tour where we started playing a lot of the new tracks, and we're like this like what our minds were blown like what what is this like is this a new album is this coming out yeah I don't know I feel like he's done that a lot mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of underground rappers have done that a lot. And I don't know if that's just something that, so you go to a concert, like if you go to like a rock concert, there's, it's either a part of a, a band or an artist's career where people are excited to hear new music. And if they hear it live, they're excited about mm-hmm. it. Or it's a type of music. Cause like, I'm trying to think if I went to like, you know, I don't know, uh, an Ar- Arctic Monkeys concert. Yeah. Would I want to hear them play a song I'd never heard before, or I want to hear them play the songs that I know? Yeah, and probably I want to hear the songs I know, unless the song is great. But I feel like if, um, like later in people's careers, like if you're not as good and you go to a band, like you, if you go to like, um, the Eagles, I, I can't, I'm to, <laughs> what's that? The Eagles. Yeah, if you yeah. went to an Eagles show and they're like, oh, we just wrote this new song. And it was like, I don't want to hear this. Yeah. Play your hits. Yeah. Like, I, nobody I, wants I to came hear. to hear Hotel California, and that's... People don't yeah. even want to hear <laughs> the the new stuff that's on your album. Like, they don't want to hear stuff... Yeah. Like, And it's so often, like, Neil Young will go to a concert, and, like, he's released albums continuously through mm-hmm. his, like, prime, but people want to hear the stuff they know. They don't even want to hear the stuff, like, recent. And, no. like, the, and a lot of artists even know that. But like like Van Morrison would do that. Like he would do a lot of songs that nobody knew. And like he's like, but he's like, these are all my last albums. Yeah. Like yeah, we're not listening to no. us. We're listening <laughs> yeah. to the we're can listening you, to the old stuff. Yeah. Can you imagine going to a Neil yeah. Young concert and you're like, when's the Harvest Moon portion of this start? Yeah. Like yeah, call me. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, like he's got some good. I'm sure uh, he's does. got some good newer yeah. songs. But it's like when you go to a Neil Young concert, you want to hear you know you want to yeah. hear the hits. <laughs> but I feel like. I don't know if it's because of the, like I said, the age of the musician mm-hmm. or the, but if I'm going to a rap concert and somebody decides I want to spit this new rap for you, yeah. I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm there for a hundred percent. Like yeah. as long as you're not doing all of that, like I want to hear some of the stuff I want to hear, mm-hmm. but like I was always excited to hear somebody saying like, oh my God, I've never heard this before. Mm-hmm. Like with the hopes that it would be released, yeah. let alone like any atmosphere show I've ever been to, I've wanted to hear the latest album that I, like mm-hmm. I've won, like when I, he toured, um, what was the last tour he did? So it was uh, Halloween tour. What was the last time? It was all red. Uh, uh well, he did. Yeah, what was that? I don't know if he toured the Halloween album. The one, but the one with Jerome. Um, no, I wouldn't go see that. No, neither would I. <laughs> um, that was the only. That's the only album of theirs I actually don't. It, yeah. I won't. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. It's uh, Mi Vida Loca. Mi Vida, uh, Mi Vida, Mi Vida Loca. Yeah. So I love that album. Yeah. And I wanted to see that whole album live. Yeah. And I went there and they were like, oh, we're not going to play a lot of this album. We're going to play a lot of the old stuff. You guys cool with that? He's like, we're going to play the old stuff. We got to promise when we come back in town, they're going to come see us and we're going to play the movie to local stuff. And I'm like, I want to hear that <laughs> now. I want to hear those songs. Yeah. And they played some of it, mm-hmm. but like they played some old stuff. I'm like, I, like you should be proud of yourself that you're 20 something years into your, like, your catalog and I want to hear this, yeah. which is something I love that Aesop Rock does is that 
whenever he would tour, he's like, I get tired of my old songs. I don't want to play my old songs. I want to play the album. And he would play the new album, yeah. like all of the new album. And that's what I want to hear. So it's like a credit to a musician to hear like, I want to hear your yeah. new stuff. I wonder, I wonder if Slug does that because he's got so many fans that are so young that... And they're expecting... Like, well, he like he wants. He's like, you know what? I have this other stuff too. Like back, like that was like, like yeah, but no. But everybody seems to be into whatever yeah. he's playing. Like I think it's just I, the opposite. I been the like, show he's definitely forever, seems like so. he's servicing the crowd. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's he's not being he's not like been like shoving stuff down their throat. Like he's yeah. like because he always plays Sunshine, mm -hmm. which is everybody's favorite song, yeah. and it's like one of my least favorite songs of theirs. I, and I don't know why everybody loves it so much. Um, but yeah, so. If they come back around, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be hoping for because I do like some of the Whenever album, a lot of the Whenever album. I don't want to hear anything. I don't. I could. I wouldn't even recognize if you played a song off of the day before Halloween. I wouldn't even recognize. I don't know it. what that album was about. I don't think it was an even really an out like it was a release. I don't know what it, it was, was. Something. I think it was just. I don't know if it was like one of them like to sh shake something out, but yeah. it was kind of like a like the last few albums were released weird. Like the Whenever was released yeah. with no press at all. Yeah. It was just dropped. Yeah, remember? Day, right? Well, like when did this happen? Yeah, yeah there's a new Abbas album. Yeah. yeah. And then the day before Halloween was like a short release. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't it wasn't very long that they, you know. Yeah, I just saw the but, album cover and I was like, what the hell is this? But, yeah, and I was so stoked for it because, you know, I don't know, it looked cool. And so this is, uh, well, we're talking about this. That's, this is completely off topic yeah. and we're going long. But man, point, I still, but, I can't believe so, uh, my Mavita Loca was three years ago though. Good yeah. Lord. And that's a, that's a great album. It I is a love fantastic that album. album. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, real quick. I think it's this song, this vanish off of the new one. Mm. I love. Oh it. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love now that he's yeah, talking about his kids so kids much. Like he talked, he wrote a whole song about a male, like a male yeah, lady. Yeah, the male lady. Like, that, about like, that was on whenever. Yeah, he woke up like yeah. he steps on, yeah, he steps on Legos. Yeah. Like it's a whole different slug. It, yeah, and he's talking I'm about like how his wife just won't stop ordering Amazon stuff, but the only reason like he kind of <laughs> likes it is because the male yeah. lady's hot. <laughs> Yeah, time sure I've changed, yeah. but yeah. Um, yeah, okay, why is this? Okay, there it is, the last song, the last song, yeah. So anyway, the 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 picture of from the day before Halloween is uh, a woman holding an owl. Yeah. And it reminded me mm -hmm. of, so I was on Twitter. I used to be on Twitter a lot. I hardly go on Twitter anymore. But um, Slug posted, um, my wife loves sharks and i commented on it i said big deal everybody loves sharks my wife loves owls and then we he wrote me back he was like um something about like i guess it's really important for you to like uh one up every, somebody what i was like i'm like i'm not saying one up i guess just i'm like but I, I oh that's what he's saying i guess it's important for you to like um be better than everybody else or to one up everybody else and my response back i'm like so you admit that owls are better though <laughs> <laughs> and then that was that was like kind of it. Yeah. And then like two months went by and he tweeted, my wife loves owls. I don't know where. That's funny. And I was like, was that, it was that like seated in my head? Yeah. And then we posted that picture of a woman who kind of looked like his wife. Uh -huh. I don't think it is, but and I was like holding an owl. I'm like, has he been thinking about the yeah. fucking owl tweet? This <laughs> so, whole time? so you like, you comment underneath it like, so. <laughs> so, yeah. So you're welcome. Yeah. So where are we landing <laughs> yeah. here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, obviously, you know, I don't. I the fact that he, like, I want to go back and find it. I'm, I'm, it was years and years ago. I, I screenshotted it. I screenshotted all that, so I have. If I, if I can find the screenshots yeah. of those, but that's fine. Um, yeah, and uh, but he, like he definitely shit on me a little bit. And then I once posted. A, I tweeted at him because I got a, a custom iPhone case made with the Say Clown Bad Dub Two logo on it with the clown hanging. Okay. That was the atmosphere. That was the atmosphere tattoo I wanted. Was just the clown. hanging yep. clown. Yep, that's it. That's what I got. That's the get. one. Yeah. Yep. Um, and I posted that, and I just said, like, "What do you think about my new iPhone case?" And then he tweeted back. He's like, "Did you buy that somewhere?" And I just said, "No, I, I made it on some website." And I think he just wanted to make sure that there wasn't somebody out there selling. Yeah. Like a fake version, and he's just like you know. And then, like a couple years later, they saw they made a they made a cell phone case that was like also a speaker, which I take no credit to. I thought everybody's yeah. made a cell phone case, but uh, I never bought that. Anyway, the, that's my the headshots cover too is a good one too. If you cut out like the track list and just do the woman, 
Like the silhouette. The headshots. The seven yeah, headshots. Headshot seven. Uh, seven? Yeah. yeah. There's also like a couple of the old headshots, yeah. like you know, like the you know ones before mm-hmm. that were more like graffiti looking. Yeah. That'd be interesting. The more abstract, the better. I like like when people <laughs> guilty of that. I'm wearing. Oh, look at this. I'm wearing. I forget, oh no, this is a Dino Spectrum. Oh, there you go. Sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's that it. was. Uh, that was a long one. <laughs> that was that. 